Hi Daniel here and welcome to another one of my product unboxing videos. Today we're going to be looking at some speakers made by Creative and they're the Gigaworks T40 Series 2 speakers. Um, I'm not going to do a full review on them because there's many other videos that people have actually done sound tests comparison between this T40, T20 and um, other similar speakers and they'll do a much better job than I've done but this is just going to be a quick unboxing so if you are thinking about buying these um, this is what you can expect. These speakers were under a hundred pound on Amazon. They've got really good reviews. Uh, there are a cheaper version available with just one uh, speaker built into it. It's the T20, but I decided to go for these ones um, just based on everyone else's review. So thank you very much for posting your reviews and your um, comparisons. This helped me make my decision as well. So obviously these are PC speakers, but they can be used with TV, your TV. They come in this box, this was delivered by Amazon. Um, Award winning quality. I have had creative speakers before and they've always been good, so I decided to go with them again. And as you can see, they're both black with two speakers built into it with the little orange bits and a little tweeter there. Um, they've got Various controls on the front, bass, treble, volume. The box is really nice. A nice reflective thing on the bottom. So let's get the box open, let's have a look. Welcome back. So we're just going to undo the box now, and so far, so good. Looks very well packed. First, we've got speakers each side and the box in the middle. We'll um, check that out in a second. So, if you are thinking about buying these and just wondering what they look like, and sort of the quality, then hopefully this video will give you a better idea. They actually, I'm actually quite surprised how big they are. That's one thing I'd say about that. Okay. Fairly big. It's obviously a manual. You've got a couple of more bits in it, just the standard stuff you'd get with products, warranty, guarantees, and all that. So quick start guide, I mean this should be fairly simple to set this up if I'm honest, there's only some speakers. But you can see you can see they connect to a wide variety of devices and it's pretty comprehensive. The only thing people say about these is the power is external and external brick. I personally don't think that's a big issue but um, people have mentioned that before. Doing this with one hand, so apologies for the slow video. Let's pull that out. So, these are the speakers, obviously. I will do my best to film this with one hand. So, it looks like it's got all protective plastic on it, all nicely bubble wrapped. You've got an um, air port here, base. So that's one speaker, um, it's got the phono jack and RCA, RCA jack on the thing and these grills come off here, very nice little locating lugs, it's very smooth, really smooth, typical speaker cloth and here are the woofers, let's get a real, so they're rubber, not paper, they're rubber so you should be able to put a fair bit of uh, sound through these, there's two of them, and you've got a little tweet, obviously you have to watch that one, be careful with that, it's just, it's obviously you don't want to get them pushed in, so best best put that back on. So, that's a size comparison, so look at the other speaker, so this speaker will have the volume controlled on it and everything. And there should be a power brick and some cables in there I believe. So as we can see, we can already see we've got different bits on the back of this one compared to the other one. So that speaker there has a cable attached to it at the back, RCA, and um, obviously that one there, that RCA just goes into the back of this one. It's still got the same port on the top. So you've got audio input, stereo jack, 27 volt DC, which is external power brick. 
Now there are apparently there are little stands uh, stands with these which screw in the bottom. But even now I can see that they stand up by themselves pretty well. But I will put them on for added stability. And it also looks like these these covers come off. So on both of them the covers both come off. I kind of I kind of like them like that, but I think I'll probably just keep the covers on just to protect everything and stop too much dust getting on and all that. Um, and on the front, we've got our controls, bass, treble, volume. It's nice and smooth. Off. You've got your headphone jack and aux in. So you can ha hook up an external device and have sound. So let's look in the box. They put some tape on this as well. Yeah, they have. I'll try and get that. There we go. Very well packed. I'll give them that. So what do we have here? We've got a RCA2 stereo jack converter. So what would that be for? That would be for some, the back of say a, some sort of unit where you'd have the audio left and right and come into stereo jack which would then plug into there. We've got a standard three and a half, three and a half mil stereo jack. That goes straight in there like that. Straight to the back of the PC, which is what I'm going to use it for. We've got a couple of screws, posi head screws, Phillips head screws, nice black ones, good quality. And I think this is really just the stands. We've got these stands in here as well. One stand and mother stand might be in there. So these are the stands. Oh, these are two stands in one. Apologies for that. Okay. So I'll get that off there in a minute. That's one of the stands. So this is the stand. It's got like rubbery feet on it. And um, that will just go in there like that, the looks of it. And as you can see, it's got a little screw hole there. And you'll get one of these uh, screws in there. And that does actually make it look better. That's what that's the effect you get from just that or that. I think I kind of prefer that one. It makes it look a bit more substantial and definitely stops you from warping too much even without the screw that makes quite a bit of a difference so that's that and then obviously we've got the power brick and the standard three pin UK plug obviously from another country you'll have a two pin depending on what you've got and then your powers. everything is really well packed um, created power adapter 1.2 amps 27 volt 1.7 amps so it's a fair bit of power so they obviously do go loud so what's included in the box is obviously you've got your speakers you've got your stands which are these excuse the tape on that just pulled it off sorry about that you've got two stand two of these stands got two speakers um you've got your power brick your stereo cable, stereo jack cable, and you've got your RCA2 stereo jack adapter. So if you're thinking about buying these, hopefully my video has helped you just assess the quality of these items. And there are a lot of other videos on YouTube that will show the uh, the sound difference, and the sound on these is really good. So we'll just run through that again. Nice, nice gloss finish on the front matte finish on the side the little airport has got glossy finish as well um, speakers look real nice they're rubber so they won't break this this type of speaker should last years providing it does what you want it to do um, nice silver switches and you can have them without i'll just show you with that without that's without that without the grills which does look cool and then with the grills, just protects it and makes it less obvious. Thanks for watching.